So in this short video today, I'm going to give you all the skills that will allow you to create a PowerPoint presentation that has all of the best qualities of a Prezi and none of the worst qualities and uses PowerPoint Zoom. So we have a presentation with an index slide in which we can click to the next level of detail and it looks like we're zooming into the presentation on the same slide in any order that we want to going back to the root index slide every time. It's a brilliant tool it's a little known feature of PowerPoint and everybody that wants to get a bit better at spending more time connecting with the audience and less time worrying about navigating from slide 22 to slide 37 has to have this skill. What we're going to do now is create an index slide that links to the various parts of our presentation. And so you'll understand how Zoom works and how useful it is. So first, let's create the index slide. So I'm just going to insert a new slide and I'll use the titles uh, and the layout from this particular slide. And then first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a picture as the background to this slide. So I choose picture or fill and I insert as a background a picture from a file that is identical to the one that we used here. Then we add our titles. I'm just going to copy and paste from the original. So we have our beautiful image behind our index slide and we have the title and subtitle. Now what we're going to do is recreate these icons and use them as the buttons to navigate us through our Zoom. So we, it's really easy and it uses all of PowerPoint's tools. So the first thing that we do is we draw a circle on our slide and for my taste we're going to put a white outline on that circle because I think it looks nice and we're also going to make the circle slightly transparent by clicking on the transparency bar in the fill colors section three times it's 30% transparent and I'm actually going to change the weight of the outline to a nice thick six points that's the circle and we're now going to insert an icon from PowerPoint's vast array of icons from the communication section I think and in that section we should find a man with a microphone could be a woman and we're going to make it bigger and we're going to add it to our slide here and we're going to align the circle and the icon to make sure it works right on the eye align middle align center and we're going to change the graphic fill from blur black to white so it goes with our thing so we've got our first icon and what we're going to do is we're going to select the circle we're going to group the circle and the icon and then we're going to save that icon as a picture and I'll explain why a little bit later so we'll call it man1 and we'll save it into our folder and then we'll delete the icon that we've just created now we're going to insert our zoom we're going to insert this slide slide 4 onto our index page so we go to insert in the file menu we choose insert zoom and we choose to insert slide zoom and we choose slide 4 we insert it and PowerPoint automatically inserts an image of the slide itself onto the index slide which is fine if you want to do that but what we can do by clicking on the zoom tab is we can change the image and you've guessed it we change it from the image of the slide that you'll navigate to to the slide icon that we've just created and so when we put it on to present you will notice that it takes us to that slide what we also need to do is make sure that we, that we tick this box the return to zoom box that tells PowerPoint 
when you finish that slide, or indeed that section, it, you want it to take you back to this index slide, and that's what we want. So now, when we present, we see, we see that we have the icon that we've just created. We click on that. It takes us to slide four, as planned. We can present through slide four, and you can add anything to these slides, videos, graphs, animations, absolutely anything. And when we finish this slide, just by clicking forward, it takes us automatically back to the overview and index page. You probably noticed as well that when we put it onto present view, there was a white line around the icon. We can remove that by going to the home tab with the icon selected. And it's simply that the shape outline is active on that object. So now, when we go back to the index slide, you'll see that we have the button, but with no ugly white line around it. We can navigate through the slide and back to the index. So that's the first stage done. You now understand how to create an object that links to a set of zoom slides further on in the presentation that you click through and will take you back when you finish that section to the Zoom index page that you've created.